osteoporosis and sex hormones. Boron deficiency causes greatly increased amounts of calcium and magnesium to be lost with the urine. A borax supplement will reduce the daily loss of calcium by nearly 50%. As this calcium comes mainly from resorbed bone and teeth, boron deficiency may be the most important factor in causing osteoporosis and tooth decay. It has been estimated that 55% of Americans over 50 have osteoporosis, and of these about 80% are women. Worldwide, 1 in 3 women, and 1 in 12 men over the age of 50 may have osteoporosis, and this is responsible for millions of fractures each year. Rats with osteoporosis were given a boron supplement for 30 days with the result that their bone quality was now comparable with that of the healthy control group, and of a group supplemented with estradiol. The beneficial effect of borax on bones seems to be due to two interrelated effects. A higher boron content of the bones which makes them harder, and a normalization of sex hormones which stimulates the growth of new bone. Low estrogen levels after menopause are thought to be the main reason why so many older women develop osteoporosis. In men, testosterone levels decline more gradually, which seems to be reflected in their later onset of osteoporosis as a group. Research has now shown that boron supplementation in postmenopausal women doubles the blood level of the most active form of estrogen, 17 beta estradiol, to the level found in women on estrogen replacement therapy. Equally, the blood levels of testosterone more than doubled. With HRT, there is a higher risk of breast or endometrial cancer which is not known to happen with hormones produced by the body as with borax supplementation. Some women get premenstrual problems because estrogen levels are too high and progesterone too low, and therefore may be afraid of using boron. However, I found no evidence that boron raises estrogen above normal healthy levels. Boron may balance levels of sex hormones similar to the action of maca root powder. Maca acts on the pituitary gland not only to increase but also to balance our sex hormones, and seems to stimulate our own progesterone production as needed. A recent study in younger men, from 29 to 50, showed that the level of free testosterone, which is the form that matters most, had risen by one third after a daily supplementation of about 100 mg of borax for one week. This is of special interest for bodybuilders. Contrary to the medical preference of chemically castrating men with prostate cancer, research with boron has shown that elevated testosterone levels are beneficial by shrinking prostate tumors and PSA levels, PSA being a marker for tumors and inflammation in the prostate. Also significantly improved memory and cognition in elderly individuals may be partly due to increased levels of sex hormones and partly to improved membrane functions of brain cells. I have been asked about boron supplementation for women with estrogen-sensitive breast cancer. Breast cancer is related to calcifications in the breast. In my opinion it is more important to normalize the calcium-magnesium metabolism and cellular membrane functions, rather than feel restricted by a possibly faulty medical concept especially as I believe that cancer can usually be controlled with long-term antimicrobial therapy. Therefore, in this case I would use boron, as well as macaroot.